everyone, my name is Audrey Ladd and I'm the Education Programs Manager here at the Texas Ranger Hall of Fame and Museum. And welcome to today's Storytime with Audrey. All right, today we are going to be reading A Texas Year, 12 Months in the Life of Texan Kids, written by Tanya McCartney and Tina Snurling. Let's get started. A Texas Year. So these are the kids that we're going to be learning about and then we're going to be learning about all of the things they do throughout each month. First, hello, I'm Mia. I'm six and I love cooking and horseback riding. My mom is American and my dad is from Argentina. When I'm older, I want to be a mom and a Tex-Mex chef. Annyeong, my name is Christopher and I'm eight years old. My dad was born in Texas and my mom is from Korea. I love computer games. One day, I'd like to be a computer scientist. Hi y'all, I'm Alexis and I love animals and pageants. I'm nine years old and I'm a champion line dancer. When I grow up, I want to be Miss America. Howdy, I'm Ethan, the biggest Houston Texans fan ever. I'm seven and I love drawing and playing the guitar. When I'm grown, I want to be a rock star or a paleontologist. Hola, I'm Luis and I'm 10. I was born in Mexico and came to Texas when I was three. I grew up with horses and one day I want to ride in rodeos and play baseball for the Texas Rangers. January. January is one of our coldest months. On January 1st, it's New Year's Day. We eat black eyed peas and wear something new. On the weekend, we have sleepovers, go horseback riding, or ride our bikes. We have tea parties with our hamsters. We have lots of favorite snacks. And our golden retrievers love running in the park. We keep busy after school. And sometimes snow falls in the north of Texas in January. Tejas means friends, and Martin Luther King Jr. Day happens in January. On January 20th, every four years, it's Inauguration Day where we welcome a new president. February. On February 2nd, it's Groundhog Day when we learn when spring will arrive. We go to the local rodeo to see some bull riding, barrel racing, and roping. The pig races are fun. It's Mardi Gras, or Fat Tuesday. We catch strings of beads on the parade that moves through town. On February 14th, it's Valentine's Day, and we might get a card from a secret admirer. And it, President's Day also falls in February, which is George Washington's birthday. Ash Wednesday falls in February, but it can also sometimes fall in March. During recess and lunch, we love to get outdoors. Granny and Grandpa talk of their square dancing days. We catch the bus, ride our bikes, or walk to school. February 22nd is World Thinking Day, and Chinese New Year sometimes falls in February and sometimes falls in January. Charo Day's Fiesta in February is delicious. moving on to March. It's spring. It's also the start of tornado season in Texas. March 2nd is Texas Independence Day and also on March 2nd is Dr. Seuss's birthday when we haul out books for Read Across America. Daylight savings time begins in March and clocks go forward one hour. We just love Tex-Mex food and it's spring break in March. We have a week off from school. March 17th is St. Patrick's Day when everything is green. We go camping in the prairies and lakes regions and it's Rattlesnake Roundup in Sweetwater, Texas. Blue bonnets start to pop up in March. They paint the hillsides blue. And on March 31st, it's Cesar Chavez Day. Sometimes Easter falls in March and the Ch Houston Children's Festival begins in this month. April. April 1st is April Fool's Day. Mom short sheets our beds. It's Passover in April and Major League Baseball begins. Dallas Bloom's Flower Festival is really pretty. On Easter Sunday, we go to church, have egg hunts, and enjoy an Easter parade. The Korean Festival of Lanterns celebrates Buddha's birthday in April. We both speak both Spanish and English at home. It's Fiesta San Antonio. 
On Earth Day, we learn how to be green. On Arbor Day, we plant a new tree in our school. April 21st is San Jacinto Day, and it's Eeyore's birthday in the month of April. It's May. The 5th of May is Cinco de Mayo and so colorful. On rainy days, we watch TV or play computer games. Memorial Day happens in May, and on Mother's Day, we treat mom to a buffet lunch after church. We have supper around the family table. The Johnson Space Center in Houston has the world's largest display of moon rocks. Dolphins and whales play in the water off the Gulf Coast. Our class goes on a field trip to the Alamo. We love candy. And it's warming up in May. We get outdoors and go swimming or play football or field hockey. Little League is the best. June and it's summer. June 1st is Children's Day. We celebrate just being a kid. We have our summer break, almost three months off from school. We wear cowboy boots to the local dance hall. Some of us go to summer camps. Gray foxes, mule deers, and prairie dogs roam free on the hills. The Texas Longhorn has horns wider than my dad is tall. On June 14th, it's Flag Day, and the stars and stripes fly high. The Texas Folklore Festival happens in June, and Mom teaches us how to make bundt cake, brownies, and cookies. June 19th is Emancipation Day, also called Juneteenth. On Father's Day, we love to spoil our dad, and we spend the weekend at a dude ranch. July, we wear our very best to church on Sundays, and July 4th is Independence Day. Ramadan can fall in July or in other months. The pageant season begins in July. We eat popsicles in the sunshine, and tubing down the Kamal River is awesome. We just love our country music. We spend the weekend in the Texas Hill Country. National Latino Family Expo begins in San Antonio in July. Abuela makes us breakfast tacos. Dad takes us to the local flea market, and we cool down with our favorite drinks. August. The nights are hot and it's hard to sleep. August 2nd, it's Friendship Day. I have my very own saddle. The armadillo is the official small mammal of Texas. We take the RV to the Gulf Coast for some beach time. We love to swim in the summer. And August 12th, it's International Youth Day. Mama grows native plants in our backyard. Granny teaches us the Texas two-step. And August 27th is Lyndon B. Johnson Day. Our dad drives a big truck and the local chuck wagon serves up a feast in August. September. It's fall and the school year begins. It's grandparents day in September and Labor Day also falls in September and we have a backyard barbecue. September 11th is Patriot Day. National Football League begins. And Papa says we cannot feed the local wildlife. The State Fair of Texas starts in September. It's huge. September 16th is Mexican Independence Day. There's Constitution Day in September. Our favorite dishes come from just about everywhere. The Pecan Street Festival begins this month, and we go for ice cream along San Antonio's Riverwalk. October. Scissor tail flycatchers soar over the fields this month, and on October 5th, it's World Teachers Day. National basketball season begins. We go on a field trip to the Austin Nature and Science Center. At the local pumpkin patch, we pet baby animals, paint a pumpkin, and go on a hayride. We have bake sales at school. Our 
October 6th is German American Day. Dad loves Oktoberfest. Mom makes lots of goodies for breakfast. Abuelo makes the best churros ever. The canyons at Big Bend National Park are awesome. And on October 31st, it's Halloween. We decorate our yards and go trick-or-treating for candy. November. Daylight savings time ends in November and clocks go back one hour. November 11th is Veterans Day. We gobble sausages, pretzels, and strudel at Worst Fest. Native American Heritage Month is November. I'm homeschooled by my mom. On Day of the Dead, or Dia de los Muertos, people leave out food and trinkets for loved ones who have passed away. Leaves start turning in November, and we rake them up and jump in. November 15th is America Recycles Day. We have a short school break for Thanksgiving. The 20th of November is Universal Children's Day, and we spend Thanksgiving with family and friends. December, the last month of the year. Winter is here. We send Christmas greeting cards to friends and family far away. On December 10th, it's Human Rights Day. Mom makes a different advent calendar every year. It's Christmas vacation. We go caroling and see the Christmas lights in town. We decorate wreaths and decorate the tree. It's Hanukkah. Some people light a Hanukkah. Kwanzaa celebrates family, community, and culture. On December 24th, it's Christmas Eve, and we hang up our stockings. We exchange gifts on Christmas Day, December 25th, and then it's feast time. To celebrate Las Posadas, we devour tamales on Christmas morning. We have a school break over Christmas and the New Year. Pancho Claus brings presents to kids in need. And on December 31st, it's New Year's Eve, and we watch fireworks and make lots of noise to bring in a new year. And the end, that's all 12 months of the year. And also in this book, we have all kinds of fun facts about the entire state of Texas that you might not know and you should check out. All right, thank you all for joining us this time with Storytime with Audrey at the Texas Ranger Hall of Fame and Museum. We hope you can join us next time. Bye-bye now.